Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing from Grandma in a Box. Last month I did their unboxing for their March, which was a St. Patrick's Day. This is their April box and it has a cute little spring theme. So I'm gonna show you what's inside and then I will insert footage of me and Jackson decorating the little goodies in here. So it comes all wrapped nice and cute. The cookies are already made, everything's measured out. It's super easy. Here's a little business card on top. And there is a promo code that I will leave below for your subscription. Spring cookies and candy. Welcome to the April 2019 Grandma in a Box. So it talks about the different projects and if you do follow her on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, she has instruction videos on how to make each of the snacks. So I like watching those ahead of time just so I know what they are and to kind of get tips and tricks from her on decorating. So here's the contents of the box, everything that's included. First project, marshmallow flower pops. Super quick and easy. Second project, crunchy bird's nest. And the third project is spring cookie decorating. So we had a lot of fun last time decorating the cookies and making the snacks. So I'm excited to let Jackson see this when he gets home from school. So here we have our marshmallows and our little pops. We have some adorable little bird and egg cookies and smaller versions of the egg and some bunnies. A couple little icings are already in the bag. You just have to knead them, cut off the tip and you can decorate. So we have a few colors. Also have some gold sprinkles, blue sprinkles. Some little rainbow ones, M&Ms, jelly beans, our little wrappers, there's a few in there, some melting chocolate. I call these haystacks, I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but the little um, rice type things that you make the nest with. And then she always gives you a little sheet to decorate it on. That way you don't make a mess and your stuff can dry on it. So I will show you us making our little treats. So for the first project, you take the melting chocolate and melt that in the microwave. And then you put a small little dollop of the chocolate on the wax paper. It said to make it a little bit bigger than the size of a quarter. So the first one that I did was a little bit too small, but there's enough chocolate to make six of these and then you use the rest of the chocolate for the next project. So it is important that you kind of do them in order um, because of that. So you put an M&M in the center and then you take the marshmallows and you put six of those going around so it looks like a flower. Jackson went ahead and sorted all the marshmallows by the four different colors. And then I let him make the rest. I just put the chocolate down for him. Um, because I wanted to make sure that we had enough for the next project. And he probably would not have done that <laughs> if I let him. Um, but this only takes about five minutes or so to set up. So we do them in order. And by the time we're like halfway done decorating cookies, the first two projects are already ready to eat. So it's a lot of fun. He loves this kind of stuff. So super cute. And then like I said, for the leftover chocolate, you're gonna dump in the Chinese noodles. That's what that's called. Couldn't think of it earlier. And you're just gonna mix those together really well. They don't have to be completely coated because just as long as there's a little bit in there, it'll harden and it'll hold shape. But I mixed mine fairly well. And then you can put a spoonful in each of the little cups. I think there were supposed to be six cups, but I don't know if Jackson lost one or what, but we're making five of them and then any leftover I got to eat. <laughs> so I filled them all for him and then he took the jelly bellies and he put three of those on top of each so that they look like little eggs in a bird nest. Super cute. And then the last project is decorating the cookies. So I did one as a demo and then I let him do the rest. I actually think I maybe did two. Um, but the first half I put um, the icing on top and then I dumped all the sprinkles and then shook them off. And then you could bend the paper plate and then put it all back in the sprinkle container. So that's a little tip I got from her video on how to do that. Um, 
Then I did the bottom half blue and did the same thing, dumped the blue sprinkles on that and then shook them off. And then I just put pink in the middle for the first little tiny egg. Jackson, as you'll see in a moment, um, does not care for spreading out icing. He just likes to pile it all on and dump the sprinkles. And he has a blast doing this. So while he is decorating those in the background, here's our finished products, our little chocolate flower pops and our little bird's nest. So I definitely love this idea. He has so much fun. He was so excited when he found out that this is what came in the mail today. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave all their information below so you can sign up for a subscription with a promo code. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.